I am on Patreon and Patreon is a platform where, where I will upload interesting videos where you can learn astrology. Connect with me on Patreon and we will grow and I will give you much more deep insights on Vedic astrology and a lot more secrets will be shared there. Hello Seekers, welcome to Punish Astrology, your one-stop astro channel. This is a quick video. I have already made video explaining the war of Mars and Saturn in Aquarius. Uh, but I just wanted to reiterate few points to highlight uh, what is going to happen between 9th and 12th of April. And I want to tell you the importance of these dates because on 9th, 10th and 11th of April, Mars will be crossing the position of Saturn. Therefore, this will be the strongest point of Graha Yuddha, degree wise. Mars and Saturn are so close that they are like in the same line of sight, which means that uh, the energies are going to be very heavy during this time. And people who have Mars and Saturn conjunction in their birth chart or somebody who has a very powerful Mars, such as Mars in Aries, Mars in Scorpio, Mars in Capricorn, or people even with Mars with Rahu in certain cases, may feel a lot of energy shift and variation on these dates. And you may feel angry, you may feel frustrated, you may feel that you want to use this energy somewhere. And uh, this energy should be used and consumed for something that is positive, constructive. Either you can learn something, you can use to plan something for the future. Or you can use it to discipline yourself, find the right momentum of life. Because see, Saturn will come in Aquarius after 30 years. So Mars and Saturn conjunction in Aquarius will happen once Saturn comes back in Aquarius. Next year, Saturn will not be in Aquarius, Saturn will be in Pisces. And at the same time, Jupiter will not be in Aries. So this is very unique for this moment. And if you are watching this Saturn and Mars energy coming together, handshaking with each other, you must understand that this is an energy which, which can act as the booster rocket and propel you into something that you have not seen before. I've made a detailed video. You can watch that video. You will see the video's thumbnail here. And if you want to explore the channel and a lot more details I have shared, but a couple of things. Number one, control your anger. Then you need to control your urges. There will be a lot of urges coming, desire, a sudden spike of desire. You need to control that also. Mars and Saturn conjunction can literally frustrate someone. Imagine you are stuck in traffic and you're honking and the car in front of you is not moving, but you are in a hurry. So that's like a Mars and Saturn conjunction. So what you should do is you should instead of, uh, you know, you, you should use the energy locally where you are, the, your home, your own place, meditate. And uh, any mantra chanting done, related to Maa Bhagavati or Bhagavan Hanuman, Ugra Devi Devata, if you have a guru for that, will be exceptionally helpful. For a layman, if you can simply chant Hanuman Chalisa, it will be brilliant. Now, Mars and Saturn is regulation of energy. It's like chaotic energy being disciplined and restricted by the channel of Saturn. It's like the blood in the veins limited by the boundary and periphery of the vein and but the vein is making the channel more uh, giving the channel and asking the flow to be restricted in certain format or direction otherwise it will be of no use so energy that is everywhere is of no use a channelized energy is like a laser beam it can be made to work it can be made to put into action and therefore you can also read durga saptashati now, there are people who must be having a weak Jupiter in their birth chart. Say you have an afflicted Jupiter or you are a debilitated Jupiter person. You can be affected negatively because of this. So what should you do? Read Bhagavad Gita. Say you are suddenly out of the blue from the 7th or 8th of April. Something is troubling you. Something is troubling your mind. Something is irritating you. 
and you don't know what it is maybe you are not familiar with all the astrological signs of your or your horoscope and you don't know what to do but but there is some feeling some emotion that is kind of irritating you or maybe you don't want to do something or maybe you don't want to meet someone the best thing is that if you're feeling you should not do something then on these two three days it's not much don't do it if it can be avoided avoid but rather use this use this time for manifesting the energy and absorbing the energy meditation spiritual practices done during this time will show tremendous results a lot of people will embark into the journey of astrology a lot of people will embark their journey into sadhana during this time a lot of people will start taking the first step towards understanding what life and death is what cosmos is and which is good if you are having a say a weak moon you will be mentally very affected because of this imagine weak moon experiencing war somewhere you tell them that there is a war and the weak moon will immediately catch that wave and will start causing anxiety for you pranayam is extremely important you should chant om namah shivaya at least 3 to 5 malas every day and when you are trying to and, and for for everybody else if you're trying to express yourself say you want to express your love you want to talk about a promotion if you want to express that you deserve something avoid this 3 4 days because you don't know where the confrontation may come it may be your mars trying to go move forward but it may be saturn stopping it also mars and saturn conjunction is very good for hanuman upasana so someone who is uh, familiar with hanuman puja can do hanuman chalisa or even you can chant ram charitmanas you can read ram charitmanas you know these energies mars is power and saturn is humbleness power and humbleness coming together this is what is it is going to teach you so you need to dissolve and be very i will say divine in nature i'm not i'm sure not everybody will be able to do this but for a layman who don't don't know what divine is who doesn't know who just lives a normal mundane life it's a very good life seamless life a 9 to 5 job still the frustration will come maybe you want to talk something maybe you have said something and suddenly somebody has uh, you know said something and now you are in a very bad mood what you should do take the name of god instead of reacting and revolting and rebelling in this time you should immediately consume that energy within and let it rest inside you for some time while you take the name of god so allow the mars to be confined by the energies of saturn so that it becomes a power packed energy it it gives you that life force and and if you do navel meditation meditation on mooladhar chakra meditation on solar plexus your fears will go away use this time to fight the inner demons use this time to to make yourself more and more confident because this is not the time to throw out the energy this is the time to shut the energy down and absorb and meditate because if you don't sit with your own physical life force you won't be able to achieve much but this is the time because aquarius is the 11th house of kalpur it is about gains and saturn's office mula trikon zodiac sign lot of people who have blood pressure muscular problems bone related issue should find or some strategy to deal with this because mars and saturn will actually help you deal with these energies so these are the some more insights and take and maybe some revision which i wanted to give you uh, maybe you have not watched my previous video and you are just watching this video try to understand planets are not there to scare you but when mars and saturn come together it's like an ice and fire coming together if treated in a positive uh, mixture it gives healthy body and healthy mind but yes if you utilize your mars more than saturn or if you think uh, mars is more powerful than saturn or saturn is more powerful than mars then there will be a collision 
गो स्लो मेडिटेट इफ पॉसिबल इफ पॉसिबल डू लिटिल वर्क मोर ऑन द स्पिरिचुअल साइड एंड यू विल सी दैट यू विल सॉफ्टन योर मेंटल वेव एंड यू विल फील मच कामर